another thing, guys, that I will do want to say is Orlando Pirates obviously been knocked out of the um, Carlin knockout um, by Magessi, and there's no way others to put it. This is an embarrassing result, of course, and because it's a newly promoted side. I mean, if there's any draw Orlando Pirates wanted within this cup, it was this one, guys. At home, against newly promoted, this is the one you wanted. But they're out, and it's a shocker, and it's an embarrassing one. But I, I will say this to Orlando Pirates. There is good news, and there is bad news. Now, the good news is, is that I think this cup will be forgotten. I think people will come end of the season, it'll be like, it'll be gone. I don't think people are going to necessarily remember it, depending on how the season ends for Orlando Pirates. And now here comes the bad news. The bad news is, Orlando Pirates have been known to be cup kings. Orlando Pirates have been known to gain credit with regards to winning the cups. That's been their thing, right? They've, they've won five cups in the last two and a half, year, two and a half seasons, so they've been able to gain credit with that. But now that this cup is gone, now people are going to be looking, to saying, okay, now that you're not there anymore, let's see how you do in the league. Let's see how far you go in the league. Even in the CAF Champions League, I think Orlando Pirates have weapons to at least get out of the group stage, that's for sure. But I'm not expecting Orlando Pirates to win the CAF Champions League. It just depends on how far they definitely go. But the league-wise, I'm expecting Orlando Pirates to push Sunouts all the way. I am. I'm expecting that. I don't want to see no 23 points. I don't want to see no 20 points. I don't want to see no 18 or 15 points. I'm expecting Orlando Pirates to be within it towards the end. And exiting a cup, which would have obviously given Jose and the players a lot more credit, could have also at least, you know. But now the fact that they are out, I think only now it piles on the pressure a little bit. In terms of now, let's see how they do within the other competitions. That's for sure. So we'll have to wait and see. And also another thing that I do want to mention as well is the number of changes of French players that came on for Orlando Pirates. And I'm sort of asking myself, did they grab their opportunity? Did they let Jose a, a little bit down? That's something that Jose is going to have to worry about. Of course, there's injuries that he has to play with and he has to play with these people. But also these French players, when you get the opportunity to start a game, you have to absolutely take it. You have to take it, guys, because I'm telling you now, Jose is watching to see which soldiers can I, can I trust on to sort of win us games. That's for sure. So I will say this and leave you with this. The good news is, is this cup, we'll forget about it. I think we'll forget about this result. I think depending on how the season ends for you guys, I think people will forget about this cup. But the bad news is, if it just so happens that it's just the MT8 that you guys win, and at least you're not pushing Mamluk Sanos all the way, then the pressure is only going to... That's what I think. But I've dropped the link to my show. Please subscribe to my show. I really appreciate everybody's support.